In this video clip I'm going to show you how to add some additional door openings as well as where to start positioning the windows that will be needed uh, to be added to this house. Um, as well as you look and see that there in the living room and the kitchen there's actually no door openings at all. So we're going to decide to actually open up those floor spaces so that we can create a, a nice open floor plan where you can easily flow from, from room to room. So first thing I'd like to do is I'm actually going to open up those areas to make things a lot easier on us. So I'm going to take my rectangle tool and I'm actually going to put an opening right over here. And then I'm going to click on my eraser tool and erase those three lines there. And now you can actually enter the living room very easily straight from the bedrooms. If you don't want to open that up, that's okay, but in this floor plan I feel that it's nicer to have more than one opening into a room, especially considering that this is the living room. The uh, next thing I will do is I will add an opening to the kitchen on either side of the storage closet. So I'm going to take my rectangle tool and once again create an opening. Take my eraser and erase those areas right there. Let's put another opening up right here because we're going to essentially think that there's going to be cabinets going here all the way to here lining the kitchen so we don't want to put the doorway right or the opening right before the cabinet so I'm going to come in a little bit and then I'll make the door opening right here take my eraser tool and then erase all those lines in between so we now have two openings in the kitchen one easy workflow from the kitchen to the dining room uh, for serving guests or any holiday activities and uh, openings to the living room. So now let's go in and add some more door openings. For example, storage closets and closets themselves do not have any openings at this time. So let's once again go back into the Get Models uh, location up here at the top of the screen. Click on that tab or button and I'm going to type in here STEM Neighborhood. And hit search. So let's go ahead and find, at this time, some double closet door openings. So I'm going to click on the double closet door opening, download the model directly into my model that I'm currently working on, and I'm going to add closet doors. I could put them right here, or I can put them on this wall right here. Instead of having the closet doors leading directly into the dining room, I could have them in the hallway. So I'm going to actually just click anywhere, rotate the closet doors, 90 degrees, and then I'm going to position it where it needs to go. And that looks good right here, so I can just center it out a little bit more. And if you have a hard time centering things, this is a good time to show you that you can simply just take your uh, line tool and find the center of this line right here. And there's the midpoint drag a line across. Then take my component, grab the move tool, and on some of these components there is actually center lines already created for you. So click on that center line and drag it into place. And now the closet doors are, as you can tell, centered on the storage closet. Okay? So we want to once again duplicate these door openings. So I'm going to take closet doors and duplicate it over here. I'm going to do the same thing in the living room, the bedroom, all these other rooms and I'll have that completed for the next video. Now to save some time I'm going to go in and show you how to insert the windows. Once again this is an easy process just basically click anywhere go and get the models directly from the warehouse STEM neighborhood and window openings. So I'm going to go with some double window openings which are six foot wide window openings there are also some three foot wide window openings in the single window opening option. So I'm going to click on double window opening, download the model directly into the house, and for now I'm just going to set it off to the side because I now want to position, figure out where I actually want to put all these windows. And the easiest way to do that is taking the uh, suggestion that I gave you for the closet doors. So I'm going to take my line tool and I'm going to actually put center lines or center marks on my walls to determine where these will these windows will actually be placed. So if I wanted to center a window between uh, right on the bedroom and a center window right in the living room, I could do that, especially with the double window. So I gotta find the center 
that's the midpoint of this wall. And I'm going to go ahead and put a line there. Once again, come on over here, find the midpoint of this living room. There's another window open. Come over to the dining room, find, and we have to go on the inside wall. Find that. Come again against the dining room window wall over here. Let's go to the bedroom. This first bedroom here. Let's put a double window there. You can put a window in the bedroom too, all the way around. We obviously want a lot of windows because it's going to bring in the natural light from the sun. So let's go ahead and take the move tool and let's actually position one of these guys. Go zoom in, click on, we can either, actually it's going to be easier if we click on the center line that was created on the actual component. So I'm going to click and drag it into place and there's my single window opening. And I'm going to actually just click the top view, zoom in on it and draw a rectangle all the way around. Click on the mouse outside, draw the rectangle. And once again, the reason why I draw the rectangle around the component is because later on when I do actually raise the walls, I'm going to need to leave the opening where it is, and the walls need to raise up around the opening. So the header and the footer, which are structural supports, can be added to the overall wall space, interior and exterior wall space. Alright, so this window, first window opening has been added. So if I click on that component, once again I'm going to move, copy, duplicate and move the copy into the next room. So I'm going to make sure I have the move tool selected. Select it or just hit move, M for move on the keyboard. And I'm going to line it up right on that endpoint, hit the control. And I'm going to drag it in line all along the red axis. That's the red axis. So zoom in. And there's the next window open. What do I need to do to finish this off? Take the rectangle tool and create the rectangle. Because like I said, later on now, uh, in the next couple steps, we're going to, going to be able to actually raise the walls and not have anything to do with the window openings being uh, cluttered. Okay. So that is the end of this video clip. And in the next video clip, when we actually start raising the walls, um, we are going to have a finished floor plan here with all the window openings, closet door openings, and all these lines will be raised so that we can actually go ahead and raise the walls.